Holography Research Group at Brigham Young University has figured out how to create lightsabers, green for Yoda and red for Darth Vader, naturally, with the actual luminous beams rising from them. Inspired by the displays of science fiction, the researchers have also engineered battles between equally small versions of the Starship Enterprise and a Klingon battle cruiser that incorporate photon torpedoes launching and striking the enemy vessel that you can see with the naked eye. The researchers say that what we are seeing in the scenes is real. There is nothing computer generated about them. This is not like the movies where the lightsabers or the photon torpedoes never really existed in physical space. These are real and if we look at them from any angle, we will see them existing in that space. It is the latest work from Brigham Young University researchers who garnered national and international attention three years ago when they figured out how to draw screenless free-floating objects in space. Called optical trap displays, they are created by trapping a single particle in the air with a laser beam and then moving that particle around, leaving behind a laser illuminated path that floats in mid-air, like a, a 3D printer for light. The research group's new project goes to the next level and produces simple animations in thin air. The development paves the way for an immersive experience where people can interact with holographic-like virtual objects that coexist in their immediate space. Most 3D displays require us to look at a screen, but this technology allows us to create images floating in space and they are physical, not some mirage. This technology can make it possible to create vibrant animated content that orbits around or crawls on or explodes out of everyday physical objects. To demonstrate that principle, the team has created virtual stick figures that will walk in thin air. They were able to demonstrate the interaction between their virtual images and uh, humans by having a student place a finger in the middle of the volumetric display and then film the same stick finger uh, walking along and jumping off the finger. The researchers detailed these and other recent breakthroughs in a new paper published in the journal Nature Scientific Reports.